Thank you, Ilva. It was a great pleasure seeing you again today in a completely different environment versus our first meeting in January 2020. Greece was able to mitigate the impact of the migration crisis in the last many months, uh, reducing primary flows to the European Union, but at the same time providing an improved reception capacity and much better integration program versus what we had many years ago. So for us, uh, maintaining a good working relation with DG Home and with Commissioner Johansson remains a priority, and I'm grateful for all the assistance we have received until today. As you know, we're renewing our first reception capacity with the new camps in Samos, Kos, and Leros expected to operate in the summer of 2021, replacing legacy camps that do not meet the EASO standards, which is our aspiration to meet with the new camps. Likewise, the camp in uh, Lesbos and Hios is in the process of being tendered, so it can operate, hopefully, not uh, in, in the very near future. We also spoke about the need uh, for uh, progress in the Pact on Migration and Asylum. It's important to move forward. I think that's something that was recognized by all ministers yesterday at the Council meeting in Luxembourg. And as you know, the Mediterranean countries, the MED5 countries, have sent a letter to the Commission proposing uh, what we think is a fair solution to move forward with the EUAA regulation. Finally, we spoke about the external dimension, the need to build working relationships with the countries of transit and the countries of origin. And in the case of Greece, that implies the full implementation of the 2016 EU-Turkey joint statement, both by EU and Turkey, uh, preventing, in the case of Turkey, irregular departures from the Turkish soil towards the European Union, but also accepting the returns of those not deemed eligible for international protection. And as you know, our request for a return of 1,450 people made in January 2021, despite the best efforts of the Commission, it's still pending.